Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can select work item object uh, from the uh, workflow log. So if I go to SWIA, okay, and uh, and you, you can get this from any workflow. So I'm just showing. So let me pick up a workflow log. I'll just execute here. Okay. And let me see general decision task. Probably this one will pick one. Okay, and how I'll show the long way. So here you click display workflow log. Okay, and here sometimes you click on this one, uh, and then you go to available objects, and you click on process object, and probably you see this thing. Okay, this is the object probably you see. Now, what I'm going to show is a, a different way, where I'll just type in WIOB okay and no object so since there is no object I'll say let me select this one okay I'll show the bigger way here workflow log and I click on here click here work item log or available object sorry and I click on the application item okay so this will open the item so this is how I select it okay so there's like three clicks instead what I'm going to do is I'll just type in WIOB and it will take me to the item so same thing I can do so do we have a purchase order number by any chance uh, we have only syntax errors so let me see whether we I can go from here so I'll just show you another way is I uh, think there would be something slash I'll just go from SVWP okay business workplace I'll have something and from here I'll show you how you can see it very easy so you have suppose general decision task and this one approve invoice right so if I just click on this workflow log Okay, and from here, if I put WIOB, it doesn't work. It doesn't work from here. It works for only from SWI. Okay, let me type in here WIOB. It's doing something. Okay, so it, it shows me all. Oh, okay, here it shows the counting documents and all those things, and you can type in. From SWIOA, it will help you directly to see the object associated with it. But when you have two objects associated with it, it will only show. Uh, it will sh only show a pop-up like this. Okay. Otherwise, it will show the objects. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.